What's going on guys? John Alder here from tkinter.com and in this video, we're going to look at scroll bars with TTK Bootstrap, Kinter, and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at scroll bars with TTK Bootstrap, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab your totally free PDF version of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing is awesome, over 150 pages with all the Kinter Widget attributes. Grab your copy today at tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book, enter your email address, and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com, you get all my Kinter courses, all my future courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at the scroll bar with TTK Bootstrap. And there's several different things we can do with this. We can make it sort of square. We can make it kind of rounded. We can change the color and do all the things. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this TTK Bootstrap series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got a file. I'm just calling it scroller.py. And it's our basic Kinter starter code that we always have. We've imported TTK Bootstrap as TB. I pip installed that many videos ago in the series. We're using the superhero theme, and that's pretty much it. So let's start out by creating a basic frame. So I'm going to call this my underscore frame. And this is going to be a TB dot frame, though I suppose you could use a regular Kinter frame because we're not actually going to look at this. We want to put it in root, and it's just going to be used as a container to hold the things to put a scroll bar in. So we're not really going to see it or anything. So it could be a TTK bootstrap frame or a regular Kinter frame it really doesn't matter. And so let's my underscore frame dot pack this guy. And let's give it a pad Y of like 20 push down screen a little bit. So okay, now let's create a scroll bar. And I'm going to call this my underscore scroll. And this is going to be a TB dot scroll bar. And we want to put it in my underscore frame. Right. So here we can give this an orient of, let's say vertical, we want it to go up and down, right? Otherwise, it would be horizontal. And here's where we can do some different things. Let's give this a boot style of and you can use all your regular boot styles with this primary, secondary, light, dark, info, success, danger, whatever color you want, all the regular boot styles that we've looked at in all these other videos in the series. So you know, whatever you like there, let's go danger to make it red and annoying looking. <laughs> I don't know. You could put it, I, I would probably use dark with this superhero theme, but I'll just do danger for now just to make it obnoxious and uh, funny looking. Now, the only other option you have as far as boot styles is you can leave it like this and it'll just be a square scroll bar, like a normal default scroll bar, or you could make it round and it'll be slightly rounded. So we'll, we'll do round for now. Maybe we'll play with this in a minute. So Okay, now we need to pack this guy. So let's go my underscore scroll dot pack. And we want to put this on the side of let's say the right side. And let's give it a fill of y. So y is up and down vertical. Okay, so now let's just uh, create a text widget. So we have something that we can, you know, scroll, right? So let's go text widget. And I'm just going to call this my underscore text. And this is going to be a regular text widget, because I'm not sure there is one with TTK bootstrap. But it doesn't matter. We're just going to use a regular text widget. And we want to put this in my underscore frame. And let's give this a width of like, I don't know, 30 and like a height of 25. And now here the important thing is, and let me put this on another line. We want a Y scroll command of my underscore scroll dot set. And let's also give this a wrap of none. So there's no word wrapping inside the text box. And while we're at it, let's give it a font of Helvetica and like a size of 18. So the font's nice and big. So this Y scroll command will set our my scroll scroll bar, this guy right here, as the scroll bar for this widget, right? This is just basic Kinter scroll bar stuff has nothing to do with TTK bootstrap. You would do this for any sort of scroll bar using regular Kinter or TTK or this or anything else. So all right, that looks good. So now let's my underscore text dot pack this guy. And I don't think I want to give it any sort of padding because we don't want the frame to show here. We just want the text widget to show so we won't give it any padding. Okay, so finally, we need to config the scroll bar. Once we've created it, we always need to then config it. So let's go my underscore scroll dot config. And let's give this a command of my underscore text dot y view. And that'll sort of associate our scroll bar with our text widget, right? So here we set it. And here 
we give it a command so that whenever we move it, it knows to move this guy right here. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this and run it. Head over to our terminal. I'm in my ctkinter.com directory and let's run python scroller.py. And when we do, we get this annoying red scroll bar. And if we type some stuff here, we can see the scroll bar moves and we can scroll. You'll notice it has a slight roundedness to it, right? So that's cool. If we want to take that off, we could come up here to our boot style and our scroll and we defined it and just take off that round. If we save this and run it, you see now we have just the regular sort of default square scroll bar. Whatever you like, that's pretty cool. So let's play around with this very quickly one more time. Instead of danger, let's change this to dark and I want to bring that round back. And this is probably what I would do if I was actually making an app using this color scheme, because I don't know, I think that looks kind of modern and cool having it dark like that. And there we go. So that's a scroll bar. Now, if you wanted to change this into, you know, sort of down here, horizontal, you would just change your orient to vertical. And this instead of Y, it would be X. And instead of this Y view, it would be X view, right? So Y is up and down, X is left and right. That's really all there is to it. Also, this instead of Y scroll command, it would be obviously X scroll command, right? So basically just change all the Y's to X's and you've got yourself a horizontal scroll bar instead of a vertical one. So those are scroll bars with TTK Bootstrap. Very easy, very cool, and uh, pretty fun. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab your totally free PDF version of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. The thing is awesome, over 150 pages with all the Kinter Widget attributes. Grab your free copy today, head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book in your email address, and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com and get all my Kinter courses, all my future courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. My name is John Alder from tkinter.com and I'll see you in the next video.